Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great 4th of July. So, to begin with, I want to let you guys know that I had a beautiful day today. Um, I actually had a cheat meal, and I actually worked today. And so my cheat meal was at work, and then I came home and had a cheat meal with my kiddo. Um, at work, I had fettuccine alfredo. It was so good. And then um, we had um, pizza and chicken wings for dinner tonight because I was craving it. So I was like, that's what I'm going to buy. So I went and got some. And yeah, so in case everybody's like, you're talking about Amber and foodie and you're eating junk. We're allowed to eat junk like every once in a while. It's all about portion control. And yes, me just like Amber and foodie. I have an addiction to the unfortunate um, food. I, my Everybody has their vice. My vice is when I'm stressed, I overeat. When I'm happy, I overeat. When I'm sad, I overeat. And I've learned to just cope with it with other ways like exercise or making a YouTube video um, or, you know, maybe drink some water. Like there's ways to get around hunger. And in the process, I've lost some weight. So as you can tell from the title of this video, um, I someone asked me why I talk about Amber and Foodie when I myself am losing weight or, you know, was an overweight person or am an overweight person. And here's my reason. First of all, I am an overweight person. However, I currently and realistically never want to be... 300 pounds, 400 pounds, 500 pounds, 600 pounds. Realistically, I never want to be 250 pounds. I've never been 250 pounds. I don't want to be 250 pounds. Um, I do have fatty arms and a fatty belly and fatty body or whatever, but I am making steps to alleviate that because I want to live a longer, healthier life. And that doesn't mean at any moment I could get in a car wreck, something could happen to me, I could die. It, it, at any age, at any point, people have heart attacks. The healthiest of people have heart attacks or cardiac arrest and all kind of weird stuff. So I'm not saying that, you know, life won't happen and I could just unfortunately pass away at any sudden moment um, for no reason or for any reason, but I want to try my best to live a healthy life, Okay. So, I'm not comparing myself to them. I'm just trying to do what's best for me to be a better person for myself, okay? And the title of this video is Why I Get Annoyed With Them. And who do I like more? I personally like Amber more. And here's my reason why. So, of the two... I can technically, if I'll honesty, because today is 4th of July, it's a day of honesty for me, technically I can tolerate Amber more. And here's why I say that. As much as smug of a narcissist she truly is, and she truly gets on my ever last motherfucking nerve, Chantel is a straight up I don't even know. Like, I don't even know where to begin because I remember looking back on videos way prior to her um, current situation that she just, oh man, she just fell into a cycle of what I presume as lying to her audience. Now, don't get me wrong. Amber has lied to her audience countless times. She's manipulated them. She cried. She laughed. She made fun of them. She made jokes about them. She makes memes about them. She makes TikToks about them. But there's something about Amber that I can tolerate more than Foodie Beauty. And I don't know what it is. I'm not going to say I don't like Foodie Beauty. I just don't care for her content the way I care for Amber's content. I think part of the reason is... Amber's kind of funny at times. Amber Amber can be humorous. Amber can make fun of herself. And I I can appreciate that. I make fun of myself all the time. 24 fucking 7. I mean, I laugh at my arms. I laugh at my body fat. I laugh at myself not being able to get through a burpee. I laugh at myself for struggling. Um, and I think that's why I 
can tolerate Amber more. Also, I think, and Amber won't do it, but I think if Amber really and truly wanted to get the help, and I think what's going to happen with her breaking up with Becky, she's actually going to get the help that she needs in order to better herself. Foodie is not going to do that. I seen in her newest, one of her videos, she was like, please don't give up on me. Please don't give up on me. Please don't give up on me. That was the day I said I'm done with Foodie. I will not watch her content unless I watch it on Fringie or Alex or Charlie Gold's channel. I will not support her. I will support the the, the drama channels before I support her. Or, I'm sorry, Zachary Michael. I will support them before I support her. Um... I will support Amber. I will monetarily support Amber before I monetarily support Foodie Beauty, okay? And I have seen Amber's stream because watching the breakup, I wasn't happy about the breakup, but I was happy for Becky because she's able to take control of her life again, which I find inspirational and I I love that for Becky I really liked Becky and I think that's part of the reason why I liked Amber so much because I was rooting for Becky okay so when people ask me like why are you so hateful to Amber and Foodie I'm not hateful I want to see them do better for themselves and they won't they you know especially Amber she's great at gaslighting her audience like it's your fault that I'm overweight. It's your fault that this stuff happened to me. It's your fault. Foodie doesn't blame her audience for it happening. She manipulates her audience into for her behavior to keep doing it. No matter what it is. There's a difference. Amber blames us for her bad habits. Whereas Foodie will have a bad habit and blame her audience for getting mad at her for having the bad habit. You can't get mad at us for you having a bad habit and us judging you on it. Whereas Amber's like, I started this bad habit because I was trying to do better and you guys want me to do better. Psychological bullshit. But I still like her more because Amber knows this is a game. Whereas Foodie... She thinks this is her, she thinks she's in a real life, um, what's it called, a reality show. No, bitch, you're not in a real life reality show. You're in a sitcom, you're getting paid, and unfortunately in the end, you're, you're going to lose people because it's going to end. The show's going to end. And hopefully it ends with you not um, in rehab. Hopefully you can get yourself better without having to go to rehab. Just saying. Amber, I think she has hope. I really think she has hope. Um, the reason I say I should, I don't want Foodie to go to rehab is because I think it'll make matters worse. I think she needs support from Pete's to get better. Okay, let me clarify that. Um, and just so you know, I don't wish ill will or anything worse on either one of them too. I want them to get better. I want them to make great content, but they're not. And we as reaction channels and commentary channels are here for it, baby. We're here for it. So as far as the two, I can tolerate Amber more just because, I mean, she's funny at times. There's something about her that I can tolerate more than foodie, but I still can't tolerate Amber. Does that make sense? I know I make no sense, but I'm just saying, like, if you had to pick, I pick Amber to tolerate and at least watch her content. I can at least watch her content without actually wanting to throw up. It's those faces, too, y'all. Fucking foodie and those faces make me want to vomit the whole uh, face and shit. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to get out of here because I'm really tired. It's 5.30 and I doubt I'm going to be able to really get any sleep because why are people popping firecrackers this early? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go take a nap and maybe make another video that makes more sense. But... I can tolerate Amber more than I can tolerate Foodie. Bye, guys.